All right, everybody. Hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings. My name is Jesse, and I am the host here on this channel. And if things pertaining to Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, what is usually referred to at least as an umbrella term in modern times as also true. If those things are of interest to you and you want to kind of follow me along in the way that I perceive the world and my own heathen beliefs, uh, then I invite you to please click the subscribe button down below. Make sure you enable notifications on the YouTube uh, preferences as well as your device preferences. So if you're watching this on your mobile devices, make sure that you have uh, notifications enabled so you always get alerted when I do upload new content. All right, so um, as always, also be sure to check the description area below for the ways that you can support Mid Midgard Musings by becoming a member on this channel. There's a link tree link also down below for all the other ways that you can, you know, offer your support whether you want to buy some merchandise, um, order a rune set, you know, become a patron on Patreon, all that stuff is down in the description. So be sure to please check that out. But um, today's video, um, it's interesting, the, the, the alignment of everything and how we're kind of talking about something that I had on the table or on the plate uh, to talk about in a video uh, prior to some recent happenings and recent, you know, goings on in my own uh, life. But I um, wanted to talk today a bit about a word that some of you may know of or have seen in different posts. This is a Welsh word um, called Heirig. I believe I'm pronouncing that right, at least so, so far as I've been able to determine Heirig. Now this is a Welsh word, like I said, a Welsh concept more so than a word that is most closely defined or most closely translated in our modern English understanding um, as a word or a term or a, or a uh, view of, of, of something that means um, a longing or a homesickness, a longing back to your home or a longing back to your roots. Um, and homesickness tends to be a word that at least we in modern times can understand what that, you know, usually uh, refers to. And hairaith as this Welsh word, um, it, it's, it's the closest similarity, you know, so homesickness, um, there, there there's a correlation there, there's an understanding we, we can surmise and we can uh, uh, relate to the terms. However, um, this, this word, the reason why I want to talk about this as a Welsh word, in its meaning in heathenry, its meaning in, in Germanic heathenry um, specifically, and um, I don't think, at least not to my knowledge or understanding, at least not so far as I've discovered in my own pagan practices, there's nothing that quite uh, relates to this in a word or a term, except perhaps, maybe, the word orlog, or orle, or that primordial, that, 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 that primal layer, not primordial, but primal layer of familial luck. Um, and I, and, I, and I see a correlation or, or a connection between Orle, Orlog, and, and Heirith, this, this, this draw, this, this desire to reconnect back to the place of our roots, um, as it were. Um, and the reason why I wanted to talk about this, and, and, and interestingly enough, I wanted to talk about this um, prior to some recent happening. So the reason why I wanted to <clears throat> initially talk about it was to, you know, get this sense or understanding or, 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 or share some knowledge uh, across the heathen communities and pagan communities out here um, about what Orlog is. And it, it's that primal layer of familial luck, that primal layer that has been laid down by prior generations, our ancestors, right? Our Orlog, that luck that was laid down for us as their descendants to kind of pick up from and um, carry on forth with. Um, I feel that it that that the, the the connection between that and the desire or the like inherent desire to want to be back close to your home. I, I've experienced this myself in in similar ways. Um, whenever I go back home to visit where my parents live in the state of New York, um, 
I was raised up in those areas and I was uh, taught to be who I am today. I, I learned these, these life lessons and everything in a certain place. And so I always feel closely drawn back to that that homestead, that, that homeland, that the old owl lands, as it were. Um, I get some of that headache every now and then. I get that homesickness where I cannot feel um, com completely fulfilled until I'm there. Like, I'm not less of a person for not being there, but when I am there, it's like, it's a, it's a recharge. It's, it's an insurgence of energy and, and, and it's, it, it's hard to d d describe in words, but I think we all can, uh, or at least a lot of us as pagans, um, can understand the meaning behind this particular thing where we, we, we want to be somewhere so much of the time. We want to feel closely drawn or closely rooted, um, and we have to be physically there. It's, it's not like, oh, I'm here in a place somewhere else physically and I can mentally reconnect no there's this like i guess this is this internal drive this internal pull this internal draw it's like a gravity well concept as it were um to be back to where we were and there's a reason for that i feel and there's a, the, the reason that i've so far has been able to uh you know kind of relate to is that there's so much that has been done like so many deeds, so many actions, so much, so much weird has been tied to those Odal lands, to those you know homestead places that it's you you you, you can't avoid the the hide. You can't avoid that homesickness. It's it's like it's it's a, it's a natural pull back to that place where you lived, you were raised, you were born, perhaps, and and and. All of the actions, all of the deeds, all of the, the work that was done by you at, on, on the individual level uh, and, and with other people as well, all that weird that you've been able to intertwine and, and, and weave. Um, and, and not just people as well. Like <clears throat> when I was, you know, living uh, at my, uh, you know, family on, on my old lands, the, the, the familial homestead, as it were right where my parents live now to this day um being there and doing everything that i did you know mowing the yard weed eating trimming you know uh the keeping everything looking well kept and groomed you know chopping wood um shoveling snow all that kind of stuff you know trimming trees um everything that helped kept the homestead looking and and, and uh feeling uh welcoming um, again, that, that's, a, that's a lot of weird that's being tied. That's a lot of work that's being tied with the, the spirits of the land, the whites of the land. And even though at that time I didn't feel like that's what I was doing, I understand now why I feel a pull close uh, back to that. Like I, why, why I feel like this, this, this gravity well, like whenever I, I know that I'm going back to visit my family in New York, um, it's like there's this, this that, that, that sickness is being healed, that homesickness, as it were, that, that high rate, you know, that's why I feel we, we, we uh, experience that feeling that has been, you know, described in this word, this, this, this Welsh word, um, but that maybe in other cultures and in other, you know, languages doesn't necessarily have a word, but it, we can see and we can experience things very similar to that. Um, maybe without even having a word for it. Now, the timing of this video and, and talking about this very thing is, 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 is rather interesting. I posted a screenshot of a text message that I received from my uncle um, some days ago in response to a message that I sent him over Father's Day. Um, for those that are watching that haven't seen it, going to be linking the original post on Facebook down in the description um, so please you know check that out um, because that's where all of the details of what I'm talking about are um, so in the long and short of it all is I sent a message to him uh, you know wishing him a happy Father's Day because my uncle has been a very important part of my life my upbringing 
um, not just me, but my sister. Um, my mother and my father have, have been an absolute amazing influence on my life and my upbringing. My uncle was also involved, so I didn't have one without the other. It was just all-encompassing, and since he did not have and does not have biological children of his own, I wanted to make sure that I sent a, you know, message of regards and said, you know, Happy Father's Day. You've been like a father to me, more or less. Um, and the response that I got was the screenshot of the of the of the text message that I received. And um, since that message was received, I've, I've talked to other members of my family um, and have realized that when it comes to folks like myself who may be experiencing the dissension amongst family that has risen due to the difference of religious views, right? My family still being um, devoutly uh, Christian in their world views um, and myself being pagan. It's obvious, right, that the two views of religion, the two spiritualities, the two approaches to spirituality and religion are greatly and vastly different. So when the two sides can't meet in the middle, or when the two sides can't, um, you know, uh, reach amicable terms to peacefully coexist, um, it hurts in a lot of different ways. Um, in my own experience recently, um, up here in the uh, cards, the annotated cards, whichever, it's, it's going to be in one of these corners. I did a video years ago, basically shortly after I launched this channel, about the challenges between, you know, being a pagan and having family members who are not. Um, and, I, and in that video, I, I talked about being true to what you believe and being true to what you uh, follow and to not let your family deter you from being true. Uh, it sounds simple. It sounds very simple and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get very real um, here in the next little bit. Um, it sounds very simple. Simplicity does not necessarily mean that it's not complex. Complexities, nuances, variables exist in the world, in the natural world. So to say that it's either this or it's that, to e that it's either left or it's right, that it's either right or it's wrong, sounds good. And it sounds like, yeah, it can be one or the other. It sounds like it's a basic concept, but it's much more complex than that. And without, without being willing to understand those complexities and without being willing to explore variables, you will only ever be stuck in a specific rut. And that's kind of where I'm at with my family. The challenge that so many of us face as pagans, with family members who do not you know, it's one thing to not agree. You can disagree and still exist peacefully. You can still, you can disagree and still have a healthy relationship. Um, I know a lot of people who I don't necessarily agree with their 100% approach on things of, of life or spirituality or religion or whatever, but that's not my place. I can still jive with them on, a, on an individual and on a personal level. I guess the reason why I'm talking about this on this video is to kind of, I, I feel there's a connection, you know, I feel that, 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 that there's a connection between the the, the high rate, the, the, the homesickness, the, the lands that we feel drawn to, that's it. The weird that we've tied there, the, the things that we've done in those places involve people sometimes and, and in many cases 
family members. Um, but at the end of the day, when family, blood family, doesn't always, you know, want to be supportive of us, and, and, and they, 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 they're, they're, they're so indoctrinated into the ideas that they've come to believe as truth. We reach an impasse. Um, we feel drawn. We have that hire, we have that homesickness. We wanna, we wanna be around that area. We wanna be around those people because of, the, of, of all the weird that we've tied. And then there's also on this other side, there's this looming, you know, bitterness. There's this looming darkness as it were um, that disallows us to be connected in the ways that we want to be. I don't come on this channel, I'm not talking about this today um, to sort of, uh, or in any sort of way, I, I, I don't come here to persuade. I don't come here to push ideas down people's throats and, and into people's minds. That's not what I do here on this channel. It's not what the Midgard Musings brand is intended to uh, portray. What I try to do and what I've tried to do is to open up ideas and open up the thought process from one heathen to others. Because this is, again, my views on things. This is what I've learned. And as I learn it, I like to share on the platform what I've learned. It is not a intent to tell you to do it this way uh, or to be this certain thing or that certain thing. You have to find your own way. You have to make your own path. Um, some paths are more established than others, and if you can find a path that, it, that, that fits you well, then so be it. But if you don't find a way, you don't find a path, then, 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 then make one. Um, and sometimes, and in many cases, the path that you take will not be the path that those that claim to love you and that those who have been a part of your lives ever since the day you were born, um, that, you know, that, that, that path will not be one that they agree with and that they want to endorse and support and, um, you know, maybe not join you on that path, but be there as a supporter. And that's very difficult, it's very tough, it's very hard. So we reach a point, like I said, we reach an impasse. You know, do we continue on being connected with those people, continuing to tie weird with those people, or do we cut our losses and say, there's no more value in being connected with them, regardless of what they've done to get us here to this place. A lot of hard questions, a lot of hard, um, you know, hits close to home kind of questions. And uh, I've, 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 I've really had to come to terms with that very recently. Um, so, you know, in addition to talking about the homesickness, the, the desire to be close and, and back to our, our homeland, our Oda lands, you know, maybe we've moved away, maybe there's something that, that speak to, speaks to us on a deeper level um, to get back to the lands of our ancestors, that sort of thing. Um, that, is, that is deep. Um, and the challenges that you may face along the way to, uh, when it comes to existing family or existing uh, members of your family and of your tribe and of your clan, who don't agree with you and who vehemently deny the validity um, of what you're doing or what you're practicing. Whatever you're feeling, whether it's anger, whether it's frustration, whether it's sorrow, whether it's pain, whether it's agony, um, all of these things I've, I've, I've recently been feeling. Um, learn what you can 
learn what you can out of it all. Um, take lessons from things in life, from your experiences in life, uh, from your experiences in life, uh, in whatever way, in whatever direction that they come. Learn what you can from where you can. Knowledge and wisdom um, comes to us in, in many different ways. And, and don't, don't let guilt shape you into changing something. Guilt and shame um, is, is, a, is a topic of discussion that I've had, you know, uh, conversations around. Um, they're two very different things and they, and they serve two very, very different purposes. Um, shame can actually be beneficial. Guilt can never be beneficial. Guilt is only intended to destroy and tear down, whereas shame is... is is, 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 is more of a, you know, tough love lesson kind of thing. Maybe we'll talk about that on a future video, um, about the differences between guilt and shame, but at least from a heathen perspective. But it, one has value um, to, to help build and construct, whereas the other has um, the, 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 the tendency to destroy. But I wanted to do this video today to talk about Hareith, the homesickness, and how that translates to me in a heathen uh, context um, and how it can be a challenge uh, at times uh, and a conflict when we have those within our clans and within our circles that are, um, you know, just making it super difficult to, to, to even accomplish anything when we find a place back to those old doll clans, to those uh, places of our origin, the, the places of our, uh, where, we, where we have so much we are tied. Um, this has been a little bit of a different video. Um, trying to not go all over the place um, with these discussions, but this is, like I said, um, things that have been on my mind recently due to some very recent events, um, as well as the, the, the topic of, of, of Hyderit and how I feel it ties into all of this sort of thing. Um, I hope this helps um, in whatever sort of way. There may be some other videos, there may be some other live chat discussions, there may be some other content that comes out um, following after this uh, video about this. But I'm curious to know what your thoughts are, um, specifically when it comes to the, the connection between Hyre, the, the, the homesickness uh, concept that I was just mentioning, this, this Welsh word, this Welsh um, concept um, and how it ties into Orlog, Orle, however you want to call it. Um, but also um, how you, if, or if you know, whether it's not you or maybe others that you know, who deal with this um, contention between families and, and, and opposing religions. Um, I think it affects a lot of us, especially a lot of us pagans, um, more than we know. It happens a lot, but nobody talks about it. And I want to be, I want to talk about it. I want to know what you feel. So please down in the comment section, uh, be sure to share your thoughts. If you're watching this on the live premiere, um, hail and thank you to you uh, for either being a supporter on this channel, a member of this channel, subscribing to this channel, liking this video, because guess what? If you're watching it and you haven't liked the video yet, you need to fix it. So please like the video, share it around as well. I want to get some discussion built up around uh, this particular topic because um, it affects a lot of us. So I want to thank you all for watching today's video. I want to thank you for especially being here for the live premiere. You're all awesome. Thank you for supporting Midgard Musings in any way that you so choose. Watches and views, you know, just watching these videos, sharing these videos, liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. That is tremendous support in and of itself. There are also a number of free ways that you can help support this channel. Follow all of my social media. It's all linked down in the description via my uh, Linktree link. You guys know the drill. Check it all out, see what fits you. And if you want to support the channel in any way, all that information is down there. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. And until we talk again, hail, 
and stay safe.